Well, California state water officials now say they've drained enough water from the Oroville Reservoir, so it should be able to handle more rain from storms expected tonight and tomorrow night as well. The overflow on Sunday forced the evacuation of nearly 200,000 people downstream, and the situation highlights our nation's aging infrastructure. There are more than 90,000 dams across the country, and nearly one in five of those dams is considered high hazard and lack any emergency action plans. Joining me now, Mark Ogden. He's a project manager for the Association of State Dam Safety Officials. It's great to have you on the program, Mark. We weren't talking about this at all uh, before the situation in Oroville, and it's, it's scared us, I mean, quite frankly, when you hear about what could potentially happen to the folks living around that dam. Um, give us a sense. What are our nation's dams like? Um, I think that... Uh there, there is a, a variety of dams around the country. The Oroville Dam is, is obviously one of the largest dams in the country. Um, many dams are, are not that large, but still have a, can have an impact on their community, whether or not um, you know, their failure could result in uh, significant property damage or loss of life, um, and you know, loss of the uh, economic benefit of that dam. So, you know, we, as you indicated, there are over 90,000 dams um, in, in the country in our national inventory of dams and our uh, Association of State Dam Safety Officials and the American Society of Civil Engineers, you know, have given the, the infrastructure category of dams a D. So, unfortunately, wow. there is a lot of work to be done in order to uh, upgrade those dams and make sure that they're properly inspected and, and so emergency action how do you, plans how do you do that? A D is not a good grade. And I was looking at your report. Uh, many of the dams, more than half of them, are 50 years old and haven't really been touched as far as any major reconstruction. So how do you fix that? Um, well, it's, I think, uh, you know, the Oroville incident, it shows the importance of uh, good inspection. So you make sure that you're watching the dams and, and you know that if there are problems or, or parts of the dams that are aging and, and wearing out. Um, and then, you know, you need a good uh, relationship between the regulators that are inspecting the dams and the dam owners. And, and they need to work together to make sure that those dams get upgraded. And what, um, what funding sort of, is a different... I was just going to ask about that, the funding. I mean, it's <laughs> especially when it's... A, is this a state issue, a federal issue, both? Is there a role for private investment so the funds could potentially come quicker? Um, yes, well actually it, it is a role for all levels of government and private. Um, the majority of the dams in the country are privately owned. So, you know, you, you do see it across all, all of those and it's, it's a, an effort that everyone needs to come together to try to find the funding to be able to upgrade these dams. It sounds like uh, there's a more urgency to it and hopefully it doesn't stop uh, even if the Oroville situation was resolved and quite frankly we don't know if it is yet. Um, we're going to be watching it closely. Mark, great to have you in the program. Thank you. Thank you very much.